Hi everybody, this is Demon Sword. A few of you have been asking about Sword and Maidens. This will be the first episode of the video, and this is what you need. First off, you have to buy a sword cleaning kit. It's a box. It's empty right now, but I took all the contents out. We'll go into what usually comes in the boxes. But these are you can, these can run you about fifteen dollars or twenty dollars, depending on where you get this. This one was from Amazon, just so I could show you guys. I buy these to clean my swords off. Now, what do you get in the box? Rice paper. Ish. Um, this is what you will use to wipe the blade down. And I just figured out, I think one of my cats jacked my, um, oil. Jerks. Um, okay. This is what you will put the dirty rice paper in after you're done so you can clean it. Or throw it out, depending on how you are. Dirty rice paper goes in there. Okay. This. This is a very important piece. If your kit does not come with this, you will have to buy a punch and a, a uh, plastic punch or a copper punch and a small rubber hammer. By rubber or plastic, and by which I mean it needs to be hard enough that it'll hit pegs out. This is actually a very smart system. I do a lot of my videos one handed, so you gotta give me credit. Okay. Yep, tighten this down. This is how you will use it. You basically put this, hold this with one hand over the pegs, which are located in the sword. If you have a one peg sword, you just need to knock out one. But if you have a brass peg, it may take a little more. So basically you hit it with this slowly and tenderly, enough to just put a little force in it and just hammer it out. And that will disassemble the sword. I would also recommend having a rubber mallet on hand because some subas can get sticky and you don't want to hurt yourself, so you just lightly hold the sword in the handle, tap, tap, no, not with this, but with a rubber mallet, tap the suba on both sides equally, just enough to get it started, and then it pops off. Also, there is a small vial of oil. This is what you use to oil the blade to prevent rust. I don't know where mine is right now, I think my cat still at the little buggers. I had to set up and I walked out. Now, this is where we're going to come into a safety hazard. And I'd like to state, please get a white mask from like your local hardware store or something. The ones you put on your face just to prevent airflow, or airborne particles coming in. This releases a glass powder, which is what we use to polish the blade to clean it up. Clean it up. So how you do this is you uh, put, a, put a little, you will, I'm trying to think how to word this, pretend this big wood box is a sword. So along the blade you will, at steady little intervals, I would say about maybe that far apart, put a tap down and it'll make a little spot. Then take the blade in your hand, usually like so, and then you just kind of wipe it down very slowly. And then just do this. And you then reapply. And keep doing this. And then you just keep wiping because the glass is now on that powder. Or the powder is now in this. Because if you see how this stuff is works, it's a little porous and the glass particles will actually hook into it so you can just keep cleaning the blade. And if it gets too dirty, throw it away, get another one, do it all over again. After which your sword is finally cleaned. You apply, get a new one of the papers, apply, I would say, a couple drops of oil along, and then you wipe it down, and then you just keep doing this until it's clean, and by the end of it, your sword will be perfectly oiled, perfectly ready, and that's just how you maintain it. It's a very simple thing, but I wanted to make sure you guys know to get a sword cleaning kit. I usually put a... Um, trying to say what they're called, uh, paper towels around just in case I need them because sometimes the rice paper isn't enough to get a bulk of the bulk glass off, so I'll wipe it down with oil on it. Um, I usually do this on the floor in a nice open area so you don't be a danger to myself because you have to have the sword out of the sheath. So that's how to clean the sword basically. It's a very simple process. Demon sword.